So welcome back friends. In today's video, we are going to see how to install the Conky all package. So to have this system monitor uh, installed on your system, you require to install the Conky all package. So if you open the synaptic package manager and search for Conky, you will get this result. That is there will be a Conky package, Conky all, Conky command line and the Conky standard. So you have to choose this. Conky all will contain all the uh, functionalities of Conky and it will be suitable with most of the system uh, components. So you have to just uh, select this and apply. So it will get installed. After the installation is complete, uh, you have to uh, make it uh, auto start. So you have to open the Gnome Twigs and in Gnome Twigs startup application, you have to add Conky. You have to just, uh, you have to just uh, click on this search button then you have to search for Conky and you have to select. So Conky will always start with your system. So this is done. Now you, you can close this uh, window. That is the Gnome uh, Twix window. After this is done, uh, the Conky will display some basic information in a uh, black window. I will just show you how it looks. So it will look something similar to this, but uh, this is uh, another Conky theme I have installed. So uh, the standard conky will not look very good and it is just showing basic uh, there is basic theming is done. So to have a good theme what you can do is you have to open the your browser and there are some uh, websites sharing the conky configurations for free. So I opened this this is a website called dotshare.it category info and you have to search for the conky and open the conky category and out of all these uh, different configurations available for free you can select any one of uh, uh, any one of those configuration it will show you the result of the conky theme so if you do the configuration as per the configurations here how the conky will look it will show you i'll just show you it is in open so you have to if you want to check out the configuration uh, script, this is the configuration script. And if you want uh, to show how the this script will look, you have to hit here. That is the scroll button. So it will show you how exactly it will be displayed on your screen. So I use this screen. So what you have to do is you have to click here and you have to just copy this. So the configuration will start with conky.config is equal to there will be a curly bracket and uh, in between the curly brackets whole of this uh, script will be written and there will be ending curly bracket and a square bracket is there. You can see it here. So you have to copy everything. So just like this you, you just copy this and you have to select the copy. Now what you have to do is the conky is installed on your system already and the conky creates a folder within the etc so etc is where all the system configuration of your uh, debian or any linux distribution will lie so you have to open the configuration file that is conky.conf that is uh, there created by the installation of conky all package so you have to use sudo nano etc conky conky.configuration so it will ask you for the sudo password you have to provide your sudo password and it will open up now what you have to do is the standard conky all configuration will be there so you have to select that conky dot configuration so for selection you have to just go to the uh, configuration dot config from here up till the end you have to delete everything so you have to just go down and delete everything up to here the curly and the square bracket I think it, oh no, they both are square brackets so you have to from here you have to just go on selecting and deleting everything so from the conky where it is yes yes from the conky where where it has gone yes from the conky dot config up to the end of the configuration uh, this configuration file you have to delete everything and then what you have to do is the code that you have uh, copied from here you have to just paste it here so i already pasted this code so the code is now current you can see it here i have pasted it so it will look like this 
and then what you have to do is you have to use control control o so control o will write the new configuration to the config.com file so you have to say yes enter it is saved and you have to exit using con control x after you have done this uh, you have to restart your system once so that is better idea to restore your uh, restart your system and after the system is restarted i will show you just a moment i will quit the opera yes now you can see the conky is there so this is how the conky looks i have done some changes to the configuration file because what was happening i will just again open the configuration file to make you understand in better way so what was happening the width was less so therefore the characters were getting overlap so you can do uh, the setting for yourself so here i have increased the minimum width from 200 to 300 and the maximum width from i think it was 300 i have increased to 400 minimum height i have kept same that is the only change i have done uh, after copying the configuration from the uh, website into the configuration file and then i have done this setting so you have to just uh, do a trial and error method and you will get the correct settings for your screen because uh, different screens have different resolutions and the screen size is also different so you have to use the trial and error method so that will get you a good conky so here you can see the conky is there so it looks quite nice there, there are even more settings that can be done you can make the background also transparent all those things are there so uh, as and when uh, you start using the conky and you have got some experience you can do more and more uh, experiments and get the conky best suits you or the conky you like so you can visit the two websites are there i will share the link with you in the video description you can go over to that uh, two websites you can use the free configurations available there and spice up your uh, desktop and increase the utility of your desktop so here you can see in the conky the system uptime is shown cpu usage is shown how many processes are running it is shown what is the cpu uh, uh, frequency that is current the system temperature is also given and below you can see the graph is there so it is simple graph is being shown and these are some of the system processes that are running and consuming memory so this is all it is shown now uh, below it it shows the system ram how much it is used how much system that is the root partition that is being used and how much home partition is being used now uh, below that the battery uh, condition is shown so 88 percent is charged you can see it here below there are some more uh, applications that are shown is r and w at the bottom so r is the read so it is reading from the hard disk and write is writing to the hard disk so it is showing the uh, write and read functions of the hard disk so right now the hard disk is busy writing to the uh, to the we can say platters so it is writing to the 1 tb hard disk that i have got installed on my laptop and the windows is on the ssd so i got both ssds and the hdd so this uh, debian is installed on my hard disk and the windows is installed on my 256 gb ssd so right now you can see here both read and write functions are uh, active so you can see it here it is giving a lot of information and you can further increase the uh, information uh, that is shown by adding more components to this but uh, you will require some uh, experience before you can do that by yourself so you have to use a lot of config uh, con key configurations and do experiment with those configurations and then you will get a better idea how to use the con key and create a con key configuration as per your choice only so on that note i will now stop the video here so you can enjoy your conky and we will meet in the next video. Bye bye.